Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you Zach with Domination Secondary Tree. I don't think it's better than the free boots option. However, it does have a little bit more carry potential. So if you are playing below diamond, I think it is a reasonable option. If you're playing above diamond, I think going for the free boots is a little bit safer. They are a little out of position here. Let's crank just blue his flash. Go ahead and just start my W. I don't want to start E or Q. It's gonna destroy my first clear. This blitz has no flash, it's whatever. He'll be dead. Mm, nice, nice. I'm actually gonna reset. I don't need a leash. So the the start I want to show you guys is a really safe, reliable one. You just want to make sure you get a word down in the pixel brush, reset, and get an oracle lens. Don't lay your pixel brush really any sooner than the 50 second mark. And you don't want to start your recall any later than the kind of 55 to 57 second mark. And we can go to our wolves. Just tell your teammates, I don't need a leash. You all, and now you're ready to play. You're gonna go ahead and start on your wolves. And if that enemy invades you now, you'll know it. And then you can counter invade them. That's the whole point of warding there, is now if they do come that way, you can push into their jungle and deny them equally. Zach, if you decide you don't wanna do a leash, it's, it can actually be really good for your laner so they can get the lane on time. The enemies oftentimes won't know where you started either since that can solo start on rappers as well. So I think this start's actually really, really good. I think it's highly underrated and you can get a lot of value for your team out of it. You can take these two guys at the same time. Make sure you take your Q at level two. It's a little bit easier if you just go ahead and uh, do it on your second Q, but that's fine. Gonna go ahead and smite him. Finish up my grump and I'll be level three. Top lane is looking semi gankable. Udyr still hasn't crossed over from that river area. So we should be able to just chill and take a gank and reset. She actually killed my uh, Kel there. She has full conquer stacks. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get her. I'm just going to have to reset here. That is unfortunate. Kel was still level 1. Riven had been level 2. Kel needed one or two more minions. We can go ahead and reset here and um, go bot side. So pretty much what should happen, for those of you wondering, well, oh, if your gank doesn't pan out, you can actually just back. You don't actually have to go for the gank. It's mainly if the enemy top laner is playing aggro and you think you can get it. But most of the time, the enemy jungle will start with their bot lane. They'll clear up. So even if they see you gank top side, They'll be on their top side jungle at that point and they won't even be able to really punish you for it. That's why this clear is relatively safe. We'll probably go bot lane here in a second. We'll toss these guys together. I want to keep an eye on it though. I'll ping I want to go over there. Draven looks like he wants to push it. Once you're level 4, your ganks on Zach get quite a bit better. Once you have your R. Yeah, I'm actually going to go over there. On your first back... Ideally, you get a bomby cinder if you can afford it, but that's usually not going to happen. So you end up getting a hunter's machete and a pink ward. This should be free. Blitz has no flash. Smack them together. Pick up the kill. I shouldn't have necessarily taken it. It would be better to give to Draven. I wasn't really trying to take it, though. I did a bit more damage than I thought I'd do there. My bot lane already has a pink ward for me, which is good. I can hold on to mine then. You're mainly going to put your pink on the lane you're going to repeat gank. Vagar has no dashes, neither does Blitzcrank. Riven has dashes and so does Zed, so top and mid are actually my worst gank options. On lanes that you can't gank very well on Zac, you're normally just going to do defensive ganks over walls to where it doesn't really matter if they have a dash, you'll still land your E for free. Zac is one of the best scaling junglers in the game. If you guys are looking to play a tank jungler and one who's also meta right now, Zac's really solid. Nunu is better than Zach overall. Nunu is faster paced, but Zach's late game is uh, easily one of the best tank tank junglers <clears throat> in the game. There's really no tank jungler that can match his late game. Looks like Udyr finally looks like he invaded my top side when he saw me go bot. I guess I'm gonna lose my wolves and uh, Gromp for that. That's unfortunate. I'll end up going mid here. Zed is looking vulnerable. And he's already used his dash there. And he's being greedy. He's stepping up when his dash is on a cooldown. I was holding on to my Q because I want to hit him against a minion. But uh, 
just not gonna happen. That flash W auto him there. I wanted to Q the minion and hit him against our just didn't have enough time. Push into Uder's jungle. Figured these would be back up. He's most likely on his wolves or his gromp right now. If you're in a bad spot, just stay near a wall and hold on to your E. Even if Uder shows up, I can pop over this wall pretty much instantly. Even though Zach's counter juggling isn't ideal, as long as your E's up, you have an escape route. I'm gonna hop over here real quick. Saying, ooh, it looks like Uder's Vaw actually. You see how I left a Raptor? Now the camp won't respawn until he finishes it. I'm gonna leave the original medium golem and then this won't respawn in either. They'll all die except for the original medium. So when he comes back, it'll be a level one golem camp with one medium golem. So it's actually really good for us. Same thing with his Raptors. It's gonna be stuck there. Looks like he's actually invading, counter invading me. I don't, I don't know if he even saw me top, so I don't think I stepped over any minions. All right, looks like he didn't go for it. He's only level five. I'm level five. That's actually really good. If you can match the enemy jungler's KP pre six and their CS, that's really good for Zach. Because once again, you're one of the best scaling junglers in the game. You have insane CC. You have three knockups. Knockups are insane because tenacity doesn't affect knockups. So even though bruisers are super overtuned right now. They rush down Merc Treads and they take Tenacity in their Precision Tree. Doesn't matter. Your knockups knock up just as hard. We're getting close to level six. Bot lane's looking spicy. Good board from Leona. Pre a little bit of a premature engage. We got Dragon, I'm gonna wait. I think they just warded it. All right, it's not gonna happen. I thought Leona's E would be back up. She didn't seem like she had it though. I'm gonna go ahead and go clear till six. On Zach, as long as you're hitting level six before the eight minute mark, you're fine. If you're hitting it later than eight minute mark, then that means you're in a bad spot. As I say that, I may actually hit it a little late here. I haven't been uh, getting too much CS so far. That Udyr counter invade. He showed up in my jungle right as it was spawning back in. We'll be hitting level 6 here. Oh, there we go. Pre-8 minute. Let's go, dude. I'm going to ping out the Zed. Bang these guys together. You want to max your E first for the extra range. Trust me. Do not max your W first on Zach jungle. You do that for Zach mid or Zach top. For Zach jungle, you need that extra E range that you get per level on it. Pull these bad boys together. Knock them up, knock them up. Once you have Cinder Hulk, you've power spiked really, really strong on Zach. It's pretty much your full build right there. Spirit Vistage is also a huge core item. Zach plays really well against AP teams because of that. Spirit Vistage rush. Against you can also rush Thornmouth or AD heavy though. You just build whatever you need. And I'm not a huge fan of Pro Belt or the Andres on Zach. It's kind of crappy in my opinion. We'll just grab the wave and get him off of it. That's fine. <clears throat> Got the cannon minion. Save the turret some damage and I needed to cross back over anyways. I want to use my R. Zach R is a massive uh, gank tool. Lots of damage. My bot lane's backing. I'll do golems and as they walk back. Yeah, look at that butthole. He's not going to get anything. He invaded my jungle. He's not going to get anything out of it though. He's sitting on Merc Treads. He didn't see my pink word either that I have that I have over there. Oh, nice job, Kel. That's insane. So now that I've mirrored my bot lane, I went to this camp when I saw they were coming back to lane. I can gank. Unfortunately, Blitz went mid, so that's not going to happen. So I'm going to have to go mid. It sucks. My E's on cooldown. When it's back up, I can defend the turret. When your E's on cool, like when it's on cooldown like this. You really can't defend anything. You have no way of closing the distance. So you just kind of wait. Zed may be roaming bot here. I'll grab Raptors. Oh, no, they're going top. I'm going to go dive the Vigar. They can't, they can't roam top like that. Can't leave Vigar by himself in, against the Leona. That's uh, bad news. He's not going to be able to play the game. I'll hop over. Ooh, yeah, my E's up in 10. Yeah, this guy's dead. I can tank it and soak my passive. 
we really need to. Taking the turret, just hit him, boys. Draven. Hit him with our R, and <laughs> we're still not gonna die because the aftershock OP. Yeah, Draven ran into the wall somehow. I don't. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Looks like Nivea DC'd and then died. Can get our full Cinder Hulk. You should be getting able to buy it before the 10 minute mark. I had more than enough gold to buy it, even though it, I'm doing decent. Uh, against their team, they're actually super AD heavy. I'll go ahead and pick up Lucidities. I've actually started to like Lucidities more. Lucidities win rates are is really solid right now on Zach. And especially if the enemy team has a good mix of AP and AD, I find Lucidities are fine, especially with this Ravenous build. With the Domination Tree secondary, I'm, I'm fine with Lucidities. With the free boots, I'm not crazy about it. I feel like the free boots give it enough movement speed as is. Because they give a plus 10 extra. So I'll usually try to hold off on tier 2 boots for as long as possible when I go free boots. But with the Domination Tree secondary, then yeah, Lucidities are pretty nice. We're going to have to path back down into Dragon here. I figured I'd stop by top real quick. They're pressuring it a lot. Zach is a monster in 2v2s and 3v3s. Riven's lucky she didn't land her engage. She would have gotten stomped there. I mean, you see how far Zach's E reaches. I don't even have five points in it. Oh, she, she juked it, man. Ooh, she's going to die, though. She's gonna pay for that juke. If she had flash, she would have lived, but she probably already burned it trying to kill Kel from earlier. You shouldn't really take the minions away from your laner, but you can help them kill them. Just don't last hit them. I'm coming mid. The enemies are doing a lot of roams because of their Blitzcrank. He's kind of forcing these roams. We're gonna way outscale this Udyr. They're in trouble. They really gotta make something happen here. Who hit that? What the hell? I don't think Blitzcrank even autoed that. That was bizarre. Alright, we're gonna go mid. We have our R. Oh, what? This is pink. They're gonna see me coming. Bang him together. Press R. Try it. Oh, accidentally walked into the Vigar R there. That was my bad. Pick up some blobs. Try to get behind the Blitzcrank. He's dead. Ooh. I actually nearly had him. As long as you're in a safe spot, it's fine to go. It's fine to kind of let yourself die. You heal back up a lot off of it. Let's go and also burn his ignite for that, so it's fine. Grab some more bloblets. Just trying to get my HP back. Back to full HP, man. You don't really have to Warmog's Rush on Zach. Spirit Vistage is fine. If the enemy team is full AD, you don't need Spirit Vistage. But you can still round off your build with it if you really want to. Against them, since they have the Vigar and the Blitzcrank, they're both AP champs. I will probably pick up a Spirit Vistage after I get a Bramble Vest, because they have a lot of auto attacks on their team. With the Riven Udyr, the Zed uh, Lethality, I can get a lot of value out of Bramble. If you have, ooh, actually Draven's really fat. I could just rush down Knight's Vow. If you're playing in higher elo, or if you or if you trust your AD carry in general, Knight's Vow is a really good option. You get a bunch of healing out of it, and it's super cheap item. It's only 2200. I think this is like platinum elo. I'm pretty sure people on both teams are basically plat. So with that being said, and with Draven having a relatively good score and higher CS than the enemies, I'll go ahead and just get a Knight's Vow. That would give us really good value. Ooh, Riven's getting feisty. Gotta give her something to chew on, man. There are. Well, yep, this is it. Just going for the pink. Uh, I don't think anyone's gonna help me, though. Alter out of her auto attack. She really wants that pink cord. Accidentally blue smited the blue buff, though. That was really bad of me. Killed her with my W tipper. My little blob. I'm going to cue him and bang him into the scuttle. Get back here, dude. Did I say you could leave? <laughs> That's why Zach's awesome. It's basically like playing Roadhog. Just grab people and yank them back. I know you're going to say, oh, no, Blitzcrank is, but nah, dude. Zach's a lot more grimy than the hook champs. Zach's Q is way cooler. 
My team's not ready for it. I'll just pull off. This actually isn't already nice. And the Q and Bangman, the, the Udyr, they're fucked. He's having to wall us off to save himself. I want to see where he's going before I E. Knock him up. Nice, nice. Q him. Very nice. A lot of times it's good to kind of figure out where they're going before you use your Q or your E. If you use it earlier, you're likely to miss it. So you want to typically walk with the enemies for a little bit. Figure out what they really want to do. Just like with any skill shot, whether it's Blitz Hook, Lux Q, you want to get them to commit to a certain direction or pattern before you throw out your, your skill shot. Yeah, I'll say the Ravenous Hunter, it's nice. It definitely outscales the uh, the free boots. The free boots is more of an early early game option. Oh god, Kel's actually gonna die. Riven split pushing top lane. I'm gonna R flash. You can R flash on Zach like you see. Uh, you know how Gragas will belly flop and flash mid belly flop. His mid dash. Zach can do that with his R. Zach's R has a pretty big startup animation, so you can R and then flash behind somebody if they're close to you. That's what I did with the, uh, the Udyr there. Basically, like a little Alistar headbutt. Very, very nice. Really strong displacement tool. I actually need to back here. I don't want to force a fight. Drave me to take my camps. It's whatever. I have. Really solid items on Zach. It's basically just Cinder Hulk is your 100% core. Now we have our Knight's Vow. And I'll go for Spirit Visage. Bramble Vest would be good, yes. But the Knight's Vow is already giving us a lot of armor. So I would like to get a Spirit Visage. Because they do have two AP champs. Plus Udyr has a bit of AP damage with the Cinder Hulk. Uh, I'm pretty sure Aftershock is AP as well. Yeah, the Aftershock, Cinder Hulk. If he went Phoenix, I'm not sure. Might have... They did just buff Phoenix. So yeah, plus Spirit Vist just synergizes with your Bloblitz, obviously. I'll save my Knight's Vow for uh, Draven or Kel. I usually like to hold on to it before the fight starts. It does have a cooldown. I'll put it on Draven for now. And then I can kind of choose later. But uh, it's best to put it on who you're near in a fight. Because if they're not within inside your circle, you're not really getting or giving any benefits of the Knight's Vow. So if one of your carries is kind of just off doing their own thing, that's why uh, you may want to just hold on to it because now I have to wait over, it's like a minute and a half cooldown. It's pretty annoying. Zach can solo defend turrets pretty easily. The only champion you really need to watch out for on Zach is uh, Vayne, really. Vayne shreds you super hard. Fiora is tough too, so is Master Yi, but you can CC them really hard. Vayne, it's a lot harder. Bang them together. Oh, I don't have anyone to have my Knight's Vow on here. Vigar dumped his whole load on me. Got a 200 healing from the Draven there. Ooh, he snuck around. My Ooh, come on now. G give me some of that KP. Wait, Kale actually got soloed by Riven? Oh, wow. I, didn't, I thought Kel was way stronger than her at this point. This Riven's been farming it up. She has CS lead. I'll just stick by the Draven since I have them vowed. General and Zach, if you're not having a true 5v5 team fight, or even in team fights, it's best to come from behind a wall. So use your sweeper to make sure it's not worded. Kind of like a fiddlesticks looking to ultimate. Looks like Draven wants to back. We'll go ahead, back out of this area, reset ourselves. Ah, eh, you know, we'll pick up a camp. We're getting pretty close to our Spirit Vistage. Or at least to a Kindling Gem. So we can hold off for now. Now, if you do not trust your AD carry, then I wouldn't recommend going Knight's Vow. It's pretty bad. If your AD carry just like, doesn't know what they're doing and they're just running into melee mode constantly and dying, and it won't really give any value. Like, he's not... I don't know. He's not bad. He's just...
kind of on autopilot. And we can really take any fight and win it. We have double the enemy's kills. Uh, we, we have a fed, two, two fairly fed tanks, a fed carries. Like this is a free fight. We just need to post up and take the fight. Put my Q on it. I need to get to this guy though. Put my bow on the Cal instead there. Oh, I can get kind of peel for her a little better. Get some healing. Nice. Knock her up. It's pretty much GG right there, man. So I pretty much finished Spirit Vistage at this point. After Spirit Vistage, I could even go for a Redemption if I really wanted to. Because my team has a Draven Kel. Two massive hyper carries. All I have to do is peel and win for free. I don't really have to do any sick engages. Now, if you have to do sick engages, then I would recommend uh, just getting like Gargoyle Stone play or Thorn Mel or Dead Man's play is really good. But uh, if you just have to pill, you can just buy more support centered items. I wouldn't recommend getting three support items. I think Knight's Vow and uh, Knight's Vow Locket or Knight's Vow Redemption's fine. I wouldn't get all three. Knock them together. I still have my passive, dude. It doesn't even matter if they take me down. Actually doesn't matter. Anivia probably has her passive too. Oh, she doesn't. Never mind. Yeah, I got you, buddy. I'm taking the turret. <laughs> it's fine. I still have my passive. <laughs> oh, man. I don't, I don't think my team was ready for the, for the sauce I was about to pull there. I still have my vow on the cow. Uh, we need to get out though. We could turn, but we need we need it to be set up properly. We can't just chase them under their turrets. Zach on the way out. Usually after you win a team fight, you can just grab a camp or two, take them really quick. Looks like the enemies are pushing up pretty fast though. Oh, I should have smited it. It's whatever. I mean, I'll body block this dude. It's fine. Press R. Kel just needs to kite it. She could even arm me if she really wants to. Smack those two goons together. Like what you saw there is perfect tanking. I'm not just out dying. I'm not out there throwing myself on a pike. I'm uh, literally fighting very close to my carry, body blocking for them and uh, putting out CC. Kel basically just got to stand still there and put out damage. Some tanks, like obviously people improve at whatever they're trying to improve at, but. The biggest mistake I see with people who play tank champs is when they're sometimes when they're tanking, they'll be tanking like all the way over here when their team's over here, and then they're like, oh, but dude, I was tanking. It's like, but who were you tanking for, dude? If you're not tanking for a, a, te a specific teammate, then it's not really helping. You gotta fight with your team. Nice, nice. Good pick. I'm gonna bang him against that pink warder when my Q's up. Gotta save that Anivia. Polar ass against the blast cone there. Just trying to get any kind of CC down on her. Alright, I'm not gonna chase that kill even though I really want to. <laughs> Chasing kills is a lot of fun on Zach. Alright, I may, I may chase this one actually. Get back here, dude. Yeah, he's not, he's not doing any significant damage. I'm not going to chase it, dude. Got to stay disciplined. No matter how tempting it is. <laughs> Even though I was just chasing a kill. Yeah, we should be able to get this. Oh, nice. I got the Kel ult. That's awesome. <clears throat> Kel just gets to stand there while me and Leona take a beating. <clears throat> oh, that's not good. So that doesn't have R. We can just take Dragon. The enemies are regrouped. They're in base. We don't need to stay. We can uh, get Dragon, buy our, spend all of our gold. Like I'm sitting on 3k right now. In general, you don't want to sit on this much gold. It's only because... We're strong enough to where staying on the map and taking things is better than recalling for no reason. Especially since I'm healthy, I have plenty of HP. I would like to reset here though. 
and buy my Vistage. So the reason why I said after Vistage you can go Redemption is, well in this case I have two Hyper Carries who are fed. I have a super fed Kel and a super fed Draven. It makes sense. On top of that, we already don't have a Redemption. You don't typically want to stack Redemptions because the healing gets cucked in half or whatever. Plus the uh, Redemption and Spirit Vistage just synergize together to where you'll your heal for yourself will be even bigger. Now if you really need it, you can go Bramble Vest, but like I said, in this game in particular, we have two hyper carry champions who are fed. I don't need to go Bramble Vest. If enemies are hitting me, and if my teammates are hitting them, we'll win the fight. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We can just end the game. We don't need to wait bot lane, yes. Riven's top, Uder's bot. We have a uh, Baron buff still. A super minion, you're dead. Or not, because he's slippery. Sneaky, dude. I'm actually taking a lot of damage. I may have inadvertently killed him. Looks like Kalarisa. I'm gonna put my Vow on the Anivia there. We need to back off that turret though. That turret's gonna kill us. Picking up my blobs, man. Holy cow, that's a lot of healing. Grab Blitz, pull him back. Good shit. Good shit, dude. I don't know why Kel back. We could have just ended it. That's fine, though. Hopefully, you guys, you learned something from this Zach commentary guide. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Also, we stream five days a week on Twitch TV, so if you want to check it out, just look down at the pinned comment below, and you'll find the stream there. Yeah, what are you doing, Vega? Get back here. GG, guys. Well played. Please end it, Kel. Please, please, please. Come on, baby. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, GG, guys.